Stop catering to those mentally ill vegans. A vegan diet is not suitable for human consumption. Point blank. You saw it. You felt it. Tell it how it is. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're going to react to John Venus' latest video, Health Changes After Eating Meat and Animal Foods. Wow, didn't see that one coming. Let's have a look. Hey everyone, John Venus here. Welcome back to another video. So today I want to go a little bit more in depth into the health benefits that I've personally experienced since adding animal products. Frank, is that you? What is up, fairy boys? Since adding animal products, animal foods, meat back into my diet. I like that he uses the term animal foods because that's what it truly is. Animal foods are food. Vegan foods are not foods, but products. And before getting into it, I want you guys to understand this very important point that the health changes that I've experienced have been experienced by people adopting many different types of diets and lifestyles like the carnivore diet, a ketogenic diet, a low carb diet, a whole food plant-based diet, a, a raw vegan diet. There are many people who have- The difference being obviously in terms of vegan, raw vegan diets, you do experience certain benefits, but they are short term. On the other hand, eating animal foods is sustainable and a long-term solution. We see this all around the world. We see that veganism is not sustainable because people drop out after a while, you included. I've experienced similar health benefits to what I've experienced recently doing many different things. So let's remember that it's not an all or nothing approach. It's not a one size fits all. And the best we can do is try to figure these things out for ourselves try to get help from professionals, uh, get blood work done, test your microbiome. Trust the experts. I really don't understand why you keep a liberal, open-minded approach if you experienced it on your own body. Now you see it. Now you know what works and what doesn't. Why do you think people have been eating meat forever? Why do you think there hasn't been one vegan civilization? It is simple. It does not work and you felt it. Stop trying to cater to everybody and spread the message of healthy eating, which is obviously including meat. Um, check for gut bacteria. All these things is going to be helpful to pinpoint what the root cause of your health issues is going to be. I'm not going to try to go into diagnostics or symptoms too much. I'm just going to go through my personal experience, what I've experienced, but just know go that for it. everyone is different. Yeah, everybody is different, but how different? How different is a cow from the other? How different is a dog from the other? Of course, we have specific needs because we are humans. However, biologically speaking, we are humans. And that's pretty much all you need to know. Therefore, there is a species-specific diet for the human. Very, very simple. You cannot reinvent the wheel and try to feed the human species something that is not suited for, aka plants. We'll say was the biggest um, shift was my cramps. So I talked a little bit about yeah. this before, but my body cramps were off the charts, unusual. And no matter how many minerals I was adding in, um, how many whole foods with, you know, magnesium, potassium, um, you know, adding in sodium, zinc, all these things, it didn't really help my cramps go away. In fact, it got worse. And yep. I couldn't even fold my arm up like this or stretch my neck up like this without getting a cramp. It is as always an absorption issue. Vegans will tell you, plants have protein too. It does not matter what they have. The question is, can you absorb it? In 99% of the cases, you can not. Beta carotene. Beta carotene is beta carotene. If you can convert it into vitamin A, that is a totally different question. The same applies to the minerals. Just because you find certain minerals, certain forms of minerals in plants, does not mean you will absorb it. My throat area or my bicep and forearm area which is really debilitating because once you get that cramp, I'm not able to 
you know, lift things, I'm not able to carry my kids. So in the beginning when I got back to eating animal foods, I added in some oysters or mussels and some eggs and just a small amount. And essentially a week later my cramps were gone for the first time in a very long time, many years. And looking it up, you know, trying to figure out different things, I couldn't pinpoint a reason to why that might be the case because I was getting all the minerals, I was supplementing with B12, all the things that you might potentially be getting less of. Yeah, but yet again, you've been supplementing, John, I've been supplementing. We've all been vegan, we've all been through the same rabbit hole. The point of the story is you're still lacking nutrients on a vegan diet. How about cholesterol? How about vitamin B12? How about vitamin D3? How about carnitin? Etc. 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 We find out now, science shows, that we need a certain combination of minerals and vitamins in order to support healthy metabolic function. For example, it's not only enough to have calcium in order to have healthy bones. You need vitamin D3, you need vitamin K2, and you need everything balanced out in the right ratio at the same time time. That is the point. This is why supplements will always be only an additive. They will never replace real foods. Real foods, on the other hand, come in the perfect ratio. You don't have to mix and match, combine rice and beans. You don't have to do any of that. If you drink raw milk, for example, it's the whole package. It comes with all the vitamins, all the minerals, all the enzymes, everything you need to rebuild your body. It is absolutely beautiful. Stop catering to those mentally ill vegans. A vegan diet is not suitable for human consumption. Point blank. You saw it, you felt it, tell it how it is. When eating a whole food plant-based diet. And so, still to this day, I cannot pinpoint exactly what it was that caused my muscles to cramp that bad and what it was in the oysters, the eggs that made the cramp go away all of a sudden for the first time in many years. The second extremely important thing was joint pain, uh, especially around my uh, the connective tissues between my forearm and biceps um, and elbows as well. And so that was you know really disturbing because it was a constant pain and it was on both arms and it didn't go away. It made lifting and carrying the kids really painful. So that was, you know, something that just got worse and worse progressively. Nope. Um, when I started eating meat again, it got a little bit better, but it didn't go away completely. And that- Of course not, your body already took damage. Period of eating meat only lasted a couple months before I went back to plant-based. And after, you know, months and months, it progressively got worse, it spread to my wrist, my shoulder got really, really painful as well. And so- And that's why I always say, if you want to eat a vegan diet, eat a vegan diet, but you will suffer. It's very, very simple. In this world, there are laws. People do not want to adhere to them. People want to be their own gods. They want to make their own laws. And that is fine. You can, and then you will suffer. He had all kinds of pains, all kinds of issues, and then stopped veganism, saw a slight relief, but apparently did not suffer enough. So what did he do? Go back to veganism and prolonged his suffering. People have different pain thresholds. Some people have to suffer more, other people less, until they get the memo. This time around when I added uh, protein from animal sources and increased my animal food intake, I saw a lot of benefit to my joints. So uh, in April this nice. year when I added you know, a few eggs a week and these things to start experimenting with small amounts, I didn't really notice that much of a change, but you know, more recently, in the last month and a half or so, when I've added a lot more animal uh, foods yeah. and protein, I have experienced a lot of benefits in reduction of inflammation in my joints, um, no pain whatsoever when lifting. I just nice. got done with a gym session, lifting heavy weights, um, you know, my shoulders, with my wrists, all that, all these things that Good. I haven't been able to do for a very long time. There's and here you see it again. During veganism, nobody tells you how they feel. Everything is fine. Everything is perfect. When we had the talk with John Venus, I think it was on both podcasts, once on Primal Edge Health and once on my channel, 
John Venus told us that he doesn't feel a difference, that he always felt great on a vegan diet, the digestion was always perfect, he had no ailments. When we told him explicitly what kind of issues we had on the vegan diet, he said, oh, well, guys, everybody's different. I didn't have any issues. Everything feels fine. But once they quit veganism, out of a sudden they realize, wow, everything was terrible. This is why I tell you, do not trust anybody on social media, me included. Just try it for yourself. Let no man teach you. Many different things that can contribute to joint pain and things like um, the onset of arthritis and all these things. Nope. And it's really hard to pinpoint, but essentially most of the time it's higher rates of inflammation. Now I've had my blood work uh, checked as a plant-based dieter or a vegan for a very long time. Every year I do a checkup. It's never been a problem of inflammation um, for me personally. So a lot of people, you know, try to mention oxalates or the lack of absorption of different minerals, etc. He is still stuck in that pseudo-scientific mind state where he tries to figure out the truth intellectually. I was there myself, believe me. I was super obsessed. Which mineral? Which vitamin? What's the real reason behind it all? What's the meaning of life? The beauty of truth, on the other hand, is truth is intuitive. It is written in your heart. You're not going to find it in your intellect. You don't have to have a science major in order to understand right from wrong. Once you felt it, once you experienced it, once you found the truth written in your heart, you will realize veganism is wrong and then it does not matter anymore. You will have vegans shouting, show me the studies. And you will just chuckle because it's pointless. Everybody that is healthy and sane knows we need meat in order to be healthy. But there's so many variables and it's not an easy thing to pinpoint. And finally, the last most important health benefit was mental. Yeah. And I felt amazing mentally as a plant-based person, vegan, whatever label a you want. A plant-based person, a birthing person, person who has his or hers period. So basically what you're trying to say is gay, gay rights. rights. Man, just say it. You've been a vegan. Four, five, six years. You've been a vegan. You went to vegan festivals. You talked at those festivals. You were a vegan preacher. You were more vegan than 99.99999% of people watching you. You were a vegan and now you are an ex-vegan. Out there. Wow. Um, but once I started seeing things that didn't match what I thought was going to happen by eating this way, in myself and other people um, that I know personally in life, you know, it changed many things. It, it was an identity crisis because I identified as a vegan person that was eating this way for ethical reasons. Arrest my case. Why do you now cater again to the vegans and call yourself a plant-based person? Compassionate reasons. And, you know, letting go of that identity was really tough, but coming over to the other side of that was amazing. A lot of um, you know lessons learned about myself and one of the biggest things that it made me was a more compassionate human being. I was always you know consider myself compassionate but um, I'd say my compassion went to another level even though I understand that sounds very ironic or uh, nonsensical considering that you're eating animals and so that would be considered unethical and not good by who and i also understand how it is to you know be a meat eater who is making fun of vegans saying that vegans are unable to be healthy and unable to make gains and be fit and that kind of stuff which is true i was there before going vegan in the first place like 10 years ago so i i feel like because of being in all these positions my compassion has grown a lot for humans in general and understanding that our opinions, what we believe is just based on our own experience, what we see out there, what we study, the, the sources, the science that we trust, that we take as truth. All these things create our perception, our belief systems, our moral compass. And so I understand how we can look at certain people's experiences, viewpoints, and instantly judge, think it's wrong, think, think it's bullshit, all that kind of stuff. I understand that so much more than um, ever before. And so hmm. I think I understand the dilemma now. It seems that John still believes that everything you see out there is 
subjective beliefs. He doesn't seem to grasp the concept of an universal truth, a truth that always holds true, no matter what the subjective position of any human being on this planet. Right now, for example, we find ourselves in the new normal. And right now, the majority of people believes that this new normal is normal. However, there is still an opposition. What would happen if the whole opposition gets persecuted? Maybe that will happen. And they die off. So now you're left with a civilization, a new worldly civilization, one could say. And let's assume that they all believe the same. They believe that this new normal, we have to run around with a mask, we have to get a booster shot every couple of months, this is indeed normal. Does that mean then that it truly is normal? That is the question. My answer is, of course, no. Just because the majority of people believe something doesn't make it right. One of my favorite historical characters and the greatest samurai to ever live, Miyamoto Musashi, said, truth is not what you want it to be. It is what it is. And you must bend to its power or live a lie. Do you see how powerful that is? But that presupposes, of course, that there is a universal truth that you will have to bend to. Not your truth, not your subjective truth, not your personal opinion or belief, but the truth, the isness of the current moment, the what is status. There is such a thing. And once you realize that, once you internalize that, you will be able to tell right from wrong yet again not on an intellectual level oh this is right because the peer-reviewed study showed it this won't lead you anywhere if you're trapped in your intellectualism if you're trapped in subjectivism you will suffer yet again that's how it helped me mentally is just get a lot of acceptance for the human condition and how we perceive the world how we embrace different ideologies identities and how we carry them forward. This is what I'm trying. These are all the things that I've tried before. And this is what is working at the moment. And I am not claiming to be uh, an all-knowing guru of any sort. We're all so different. You're not. And there's so many um, dietary, environmental, emotional, spiritual factors that play a role in our health outcomes. So uh, it's not as easy as a lot of people think it is. Yeah, but actually it is. It really is easy. Find your way to God. When you find your way to God, you find your way to truth. Once you found your way to truth, that truth sheds a light on everything. And you can clearly see what is right and what is wrong, what is false and what is true. I do understand that most people nowadays are so disconnected that this concept for them sounds totally far out, man. But it's not. The truth is written in your heart and God can give you eyes to see. It's really that simple. It is so simple that it's mind-blowing to me. The simplicity is something that hits you right in the face once you encounter it. And once you encounter the truth, there is no denying it any longer and nothing can shake you. Yet again, I have to refer to the current times. No matter how much propaganda is thrown at you, if you know what is true, you know what is true. No matter what the environment, your family, the media tells you every single day, over and over again, collectively being brainwashed essentially, you still know right from wrong. And this is the beauty of returning to God yet again, because you see right and wrong everywhere, not only in certain facets of your life, but everywhere, politically, sexually, nutrition-wise, etc., etc. It is absolutely beautiful. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. Long enough, yet again, as it is. I always try to stay around 10 minutes, but never succeed. Stop talking, Bobby. So therefore, I believe I said enough. If you like this video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel, all the links are in the description box below. Have a look. Check it out. Help a brother out. All right. But this is it. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.